If you want to spend a few quiet days visiting a city, you can visit Pamplona. It's not a city with as many things as other bigger cities, but what there is enough and impressive. For example, you have a street in more or less the middle of Pamplona called Carlos III, with several clothing stores or pharmacies. On this street on the left is the Encierro statue. This statue is formed by nine balls and eleven runners. This statue represents a stand in which you can observe how the runners on the ground feel the horror of the ball catching them. Years ago they allowed to climb this statue, but a few years ago they banned it. If you go straight, you find the Gallarret Theatre, that every year it offers some of the best spectacles on offer in the country. It also dedicates a special cycle for youngsters. At the end of this street is a statue. The man you see in the statue is Carlos III, the noble. It was the king of Pamplona from 1387 to 1425. If you continue, you will find the castle square that is indeed the epicenter of social life. Most people use as a reference point the kiosk that is located in the middle of this square. Locals spend hours in its coffees, the most famous of which is Coffee Iruña, where Ernest Hemingway supposedly spent his time writing The Sun Also Rises. If you go right all straight from the statue of Carlos III, you will find the Monument of the Fuego, that is a statue that on the lower part has five faces, representing the five regions of Navarra, and is represented with five large sculptures, symbolizing work, peace, justice, autonomy, and history. Then there is a large column with a statue holding a broken chain meant to represent the autonomy of the region from the central government. In the Pablo Sarasate street is a candy store where the people also meet. And along the right you have a lot of benches to sit and talk or listen if you are lucky to street musicians. If you keep going straight through Sarasate right, you will see on your right the statue of Felipe III of Navarra and on your left another statue of García Ramírez. At the end of the right, turning left and going straight, you will find the Baluarte on your right. It is a big space capable of hosting all kinds of cultural and commercial events, such as musical or theater plays. It is one of the largest spaces of this type in Spain. In the back of the Baluarte, there are the walls. Pamplona was a famous city in the north of Spain during Roman times. The fortress and the city walls still stand brute and magnificent. Going back to Sarasate right, going to the Hotel Three Kings and going straight to the right, we reach the Taconera. It's the most beautiful green space in Pamplona. Visitors are delighted by the variety of flowers and trees, as well as the peaceful open space. One of the highlights, especially for children, is the mini zoo. There, you can find a great variety of ducks and birds, and even theirs. The town hall located in the old town, it has a beautiful facade with four flags, Navarra ones, Pamplona ones, Spain ones, and European Union ones.
Now let's talk about San Fermín. San Fermín is one of the biggest parties in the world celebrated in Pamplona from the 6th of July to the 14th. During these days, the streets are crowded with people from all over the world dressed in white and red.